Little Yellow Stonefly Nymph. Step 1. For this fly, we're going to use a number 12 2X uh, streamer nymph hook and some uh, gray 6 aught thread. You could use a pale yellow as well. Step 2. For the tail, we're going to use a few strands of uh, imitation wood duck because it's a nice, nice color. And we want to even up those tips. How long is that tail in relation to the uh, hook? It's uh, slightly longer than the hook gap. We're going to take that and fold it back. So we want to use some fairly long fibers. This is going to be our shell back. Step three. Now we're going to tie in a piece of uh, small or fine silver wire right along the whole hook shank to make sure it's not going to slide out. Step four. Here we're going to dub on a little bit of a pale yellow antron dubbing. I like to use antron. It's it's. It uh, ha adds a little bit of life to the fly, a little bit of sparkle, and perhaps air bubbles, unlike some rabbit furs and other natural fur. We want to keep this body quite, uh, quite thin and tight. Step five. Now we're going to pull our shell back over. Tie that down. And take and reverse wrap our ribbing. And again, it's not absolutely necessary to reverse wrap, but it does help to reinforce. We're going to pull back that shell back because we'll use it as a wing case. Step six. Now add a little bit more dubbing. Same dubbing we used for the body. Keep the end of that dubbing noodle nice and tight. Dub, fill that space in. I notice you're going a little thicker with the dubbing on the uh, thorax area there. Exactly. Under the wing case, we want to keep it nice and a little bit, little bit thicker than the body. That's a pretty good rule for most nymphs. How big is that, uh, that wing case area in relation to the body? Is it about a third? It's probably about a third, a quarter to a third. Clean that up, get rid of those loose ends. Step seven. I'm going to whip finish this. A really good stonefly nymph. It also worked well as a mayfly nymph. It was tied in a, in a in a gray or a tan color.